Hello everyone, and welcome to Silent Enablers, the other side of the problem. Well, San Diego Comic-Con has come and gone, and with it comes a plethora of super awesome geeky announcements about all the really cool stuff that we'll be able to partake in for the coming year. However, as the largest fan convention in North America, the SDCC is also a focal point for some of the most shitty, garbage, underhanded crap that can happen to women. Such as this article about how one lady cosplayer was groped, and another chased down the assailant and punched him in the face. The article, which I shall link in the description of this video, as well as add an annotation right here, talks about how cosplayer Adrian Curry chased down and beat up a sexual assailant who groped her friend and fellow cosplayer Alicia Murray. Sadly, these kind of events are nothing new to geek conventions. I've read many a blog and listened to quite a few podcasts wherein women talk about some of the shitty treatment they've received for going to these conventions, or even just for entering a comic book store. Lady cosplayers seem to get this treatment even worse, as though the proclaiming of their love for a certain character by dressing up as them somehow justifies objectifying them that much more by low-life sorry excuses for men. But what was particularly infuriating about this case were the silent enablers. The men who watch Adrian, who was also groped by this prick, chase him down and did nothing. It makes me wonder just who the hell is worse, and sometimes I think it's you pricks who do nothing or who say nothing about some of the crap treatment that women receive. At least the Grovers are being honest, uh, being shit stains on the underwear of fandom. And this, to me, just is all the more infuriating because do you know who we have to thank for much of the foundation of geek culture? Women. Of the seven people who created the first Star Trek convention, which will become a business model of sorts for all other conventions that we enjoy still to this day, four of them were women. The first popular sci-fi story, possibly the first sci-fi story ever, was Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. One of the first superheroes ever was the Scarlet Pompernel, which would have many of the trademarks of a regular superhero, such as the secret headquarters, the secret identity, the super gadgets. It was created by none other than Baroness Umuski Orksi. This character, the Scarlet Pompernel, would go on to influence the creator of Zorro, and that character went on to influence the creation of Batman. Lucille Ball, the comedian best known for the classic sitcom I Love Lucy, was in a prominent position of power to give the green light to a, oh, a little known sci-fi series called Star Trek. And that was when her advisors told her not to. And you know what? I'm sure that there have been hundreds of other ways and lots of other women who have contributed to fandoms over the years, helping geek culture thrive and grow that I just don't know about. But you know what men do? They shit on them, belittle their accomplishments, drive them away, and sexually harass them. And worse yet, other men don't lift a fucking finger to help. And don't give me that Naruto men counter-argument, UMRA card membership carrying, fedora wearing, brony fan proud proclaiming, nice guy. Because you know what? Hashtag yes all women. All women experience some kind of garbage treatment at the hands of men. Heck, the entire cosplay is not consent thing should not have ever have come about because respect for women should have come first. But it hasn't. So it is. And since most of those men won't listen to women who talk about what they undergo at these conventions, say nothing of what women of color and other minorities say, in the spirit of Sir Patrick Stewart, I say, listen to me, a fellow straight white geek male. Get your act together, you silent enabling pricks. You are part of the problem, not part of the solution. 
if you see shit like this go down, you don't have to hulk out and smash the Grovers like they were Loki. You back the women up. You provide support. Heck, take pictures. Give evidence. Do what you can to call this prick out and get him kicked out of the convention. You don't just stand there and do nothing. Unless, of course, hey, if you are a giant bodybuilding geek, then, yeah, make like the Hulk and smash. I sure as hell won't report you. I'm Triple J, and sadly, this probably won't be the last event of this kind that I'm going to be talking about in the near future. Later.